US government says they are our friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a mistake again. But the average African doesn't see it that way. Mm -hmm. Then, for example, Obiang in Equatorial Guinea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the last time Condoleezza Rice went over there and said, oh, yes, you know, Obiang is a good ally of the United States. Mm -hmm. But everybody knows that Obiang has bankrupted the country, and not only that, you know, has siphoned most of the funds mm -hmm. used to be used for development. Mm -hmm. Equatorial Guinea has more oil, almost as much as Kuwait, mm. but with a population of about 900,000 people. Half of the people in that country don't have shoes, mm. can't go to school, but oil is gushing. Mm. And the dictator doesn't you know, want anybody to criticize him. He wins elections by 99.9%. Mm. Up to today, mm -hmm. the last election was 99.9%. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's, that's the margin. Okay? So those kind of people, are th people would think, hey, the, the State Department and the White House mm -hmm. has to be against those kind of dictators because mm -hmm. when they go, the investments we have there will still be there to mm -hmm. be protected. Mm -hmm. Okay, the oil in it's Equatorial there. Guinea but does it's not exactly. It's just there. It's there. It's there. It doesn't huh? belong to Obiang. Mm -hmm. Okay, when he leaves, we will still have access to that oil mm -hmm. regardless of who's in power. Mm -hmm. So why should we be supporting these dictators? Mm -hmm. You say because of our oil interest. Mm -hmm. That oil will be there when they leave. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. we're not going to be supporting dictators. They will have greater access to it. Exactly, when they leave. because the people will be happy. Yeah, that's right. Because if you help them get rid of these folks. Mm -hmm. Right now, people there are suppressed. You know, a lot of anger going through all these countries because mm -hmm. they see the leaders sitting there, mm -hmm. doing nothing, exploiting their resources for their own personal aggrandizement and their families. And people are suffering. Mm -hmm. So, why should we be supporting Dos Santos? Yeah. up to now in Angola because of the oil. Mm -hmm. When he goes, the oil will be there. Mm -hmm. NATO was there before. Mm -hmm. NATO died, Dos Santos took over, the oil is still, still there. there. It's still mm -hmm. there, okay? Why should we be supporting, you know, a dictator in Chad, mm -hmm. you know, Idris Deby, because of, you know, the oil in Chad. Mm -hmm. If Idris Deby goes, the oil will be still there mm -hmm. and we'll still have access to it. So, so we have to have an even-handed approach, mm -hmm. you know, to dealing with dictators all over the world. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be the way case by case basis mm -hmm. as we you know do do right now mm -hmm. for example in bahrain people are saying okay hey you know the bahraini government is shooting civilians too mm -hmm. it's been on tv mm -hmm. why can't we do the same the way we are talking about mm -hmm. libya mm -hmm. you say it is the same thing mm -hmm. the difference is that they don't have they are not using warplanes and uh -huh. they, don't, they are not armed mm -hmm. but the bahraini government is just shooting people on the streets. But we've got an interest, we think. Yeah, we because we have our fifth fleet based in Bahrain. Mm -hmm. And like nobody else can keep us there. With That's the, correct. Mm -hmm. And Saudi Arabia has come in now with about 1,000 soldiers to support them with our tacit approval. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are saying. We don't want that kind of double standard in Africa. Mm -hmm. Those dictators who've been there for long, suppressing their people need to go. Dr. Badu, I think that we've had you on, uh, on many occasions mm -hmm. and always about the problems in Africa. Mm -hmm. And we've always talked about, as, uh, as we end this show for today, we've always talked about the dictators and et cetera. Mm -hmm. But I think that what you're telling us now, that this just might be the twilight mm -hmm. of the dictators, that it just might be time that the people are rising up. They might not be rising up in Africa now, but the stage has been set for them to do so. Absolutely. Of course, let me thank you for coming by and giving us that. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.